So I've become a big fan of the mini and compact projectors that have become available. Usually you can't go wrong with them. They're small, light, quiet, and you can put them anywhere. Now it doesn't mean they don't come with their share of issues, but if you can get your hands on one with good picture, great features, and a good value, well, you definitely deserve to have one in your bag of tricks for you and your family. Today, we're taking a look at the LFS A1 1080p portable and rechargeable projector. A projector that is no doubt small and portable, and you could put this anywhere and view it from anywhere. Let's see what comes in the box. Now, I have to make a point of this. I don't wanna to talk too much about talking about a box, but I guess I'm doing that by saying that I'm not gonna talk about a box. Well, the black box it comes in is striking. It's like you're opening up some kind of limited edition of something. Like, whoa, what's in this? Inside, you have a travel case for your LFS projector. It's not soft or cheap. It has a sense of solidness to it, so you can feel assured if it fell with a projector in it that you're okay. You get a user manual and quick start guide, which even the quality of these seems top notch. You get an HDMI cable, a so-so mini tripod. I'm not too concerned about this because, again, the projector is very light. It doesn't take much to keep this thing leveled. You get a power adapter for charging and powering your projector, along with a USB-C cable, a remote, and of course, the LFS A1 projector. And oh man, this is hands down the smallest, thinnest, lightest, most compact, insert whatever adjective you need to get the point across, projector I have ever used. It's insane that technology has actually come to this point. Again, LFS advertises as 1080p with built-in speakers, 5G connectivity for mirroring, and a built-in battery, all in the palm of your hand. You can see your menu and power buttons on the top. In the front, the tiny lens element, a mounting tread on the bottom, vents on the side, and the focus dial on the other side as well. I'm gonna make a special note right here. You can get insane focus on this projector, but mainly for really close up pictures. I'll explain later, but this is a plus in my eye. And finally, your ports in the back. A USB port, Type-C port, HDMI, and handphone jack for external speakers. Okay, let's get to what you really want to know. How does it look? Well, to be honest, it's a mixed bag. LFS says this is a 1080p projector, but at closer glance, I don't know if it is especially if you're going for a big screen. I'm not saying that the image looks bad. I mean, in fact, it looks really sharp, um, but I'm not sure. Again, is this a deal breaker? No, not at all. And all honestly, I probably would not go over 50 inches when it comes to this projector. With any projector after a certain size, you start to lose sharpness and color saturation the bigger the screen goes. You could go bigger with this, but my safe endpoint for this projector is about 50 inches. After that, that 1080p really starts to fall apart. With that being said, this is perfect for a small room, office, or even camping outside on a sheet. Keep it small. With that being said, one of my favorite things about this projector is that you can actually project a really small image, which actually gets really sharp, which is not usual for projectors. This makes it perfect for doing things like tracing or just keeping your entertainment really small. Now the LFS is marketed as a mobile phone projector, keeping the theme of the compactness it offers. You can connect your iPhone using wireless mirroring connectivity or through an HDMI dongle. The dongle is straightforward, but the 5G mirroring surprisingly has really low latency. I mean, you can barely tell. You can even mirror games over this and it would be playable. As far as sound, well, again, it is a compact projector and you're going to get a compact sound. It's not bad, but it's not going to boom your ears off. That's where the headphone jack comes in if, you're lean, if you really need something booming. One additional feature I would like to mention is the auto keystoning. It's pretty neat, so you're not wasting time trying to get it perfectly aligned. The projector automatically adjusts the keystoning tilt on its own. Pretty cool. Of course, you got the menus to explore and options to play media on over USB stick and also other wireless options of connectivity to the projector. All right, so those were my pros. Now I want to mention some things that I felt was just quirky. I'll start with this. I found myself sticking to watching cartoons on this with my kids. Why? Because the projector for some reason has an overall magenta tint to it. I mean, you really don't notice it on cartoons, but the moment you go to content with skin tones, skin tones start to look rosy. All right, next thing. 
I get this is a compact projector and you have to leave a lot of stuff out to keep things, to keep the size down, but there's no volume on the projector itself. I found myself most of the time watching this with the projector right next to me and my gut instinct would be to raise or lower the volume on the actual projector itself. But no, you can only adjust the volume from the remote. So don't lose the remote. Next weird quirk, I can turn it off with my remote, but I can't turn it on. Again, just weird. Okay, overall, for me, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I can deal with a smaller screen, especially for a projector this size. I'm not using this for any kind of theater experience, it's just going to be an intimate experience. Kind of like, hey everyone, let's crowd around a projector. Which works because the speakers aren't crazy loud. But, of course, you can use the external speakers. The power button, the volume, not deal breakers at all, even the resolution thing, no big deal at all. If it looks good, it looks good. But the thing that gets me is the magenta cast. It does have an update feature in the menu, so hey, maybe something that can be addressed in, in a firmware update. But it looks like a, I don't know, like a white balancing issue to me. All right, so would I recommend this? Yes, for the reasons I enjoy, yes. But depending on what you like to watch, it could be an issue for you. All right, hope this video helped you out. Enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own LFS A1. If you haven't subscribed yet, well then please subscribe to catch future videos. Hit that like if you like what's going on here and crack that bell button to be notified. Thanks for stopping by. Take care guys, bye. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna put you inside like my back pocket or something, my purse or well, maybe my car, yeah. No, that's not, that's dangerous.